yeah today first concept is very very important concept easy concept simple concept the concept name is inheritance today first concept name inheritance inheritance is the one of the concept inheritance is the one of the concept provided by java inheritance is the one of the concept provided by java which is used for extending the parent class of to child class inheritance is the one of the concept provided by java which is used for extending the parent class of to child class we can extend the all the parent class properties to child class we can extend the all the parent class properties to child class for example for example i am taking one father class i am taking one father class i am giving two functions one is earn function other one is drive function i am giving two functions one is earn second one is drive so next i am taking son class i am giving functions drink and smoke i am giving two functions drink and smoke and taking another class grandson here also i am giving two functions play and study so today concept name is inheritance inheritance means we can extend the all the properties to child class we can extend in the all the parent class properties to child class for example you need to remember only one thing a extends a extends a extends b that means b properties will come to a only for this logic we are learning this concept a extends b so that means b properties will come to a for okay for example if i want to get the modi properties how we can write i want to get modi properties how we can write hmm don't confuse a extends b means b properties will come to a so how can we write now akil extends akil extends modi akil extends modi so modi properties will come to akil modi properties will come to akil that is the concept inheritance concept akil extends modi modi properties will come to akil now father having two properties father having two properties father one second i am writing father father having two properties one is an second one is drive and and drive and son having two properties drink and smoke grandson play and study father having only two properties father having only two properties always father can get only two properties only now here i am writing son extends father son extends father what will happen son get four properties father two properties and his properties two properties two plus two four properties son get four properties now i am writing grandson extends son grandson get six properties father properties two son properties two and own properties two total six properties son extends grandson extends son son get to six properties that is the concept inheritance concept yesterday we discussed one class we taken one class and after that class we declared some functions and we call from main method we call from main method we call from main method so we call from main method but today class is different here we are taking three different classes 
we are taking three different classes and we need to take another class with main method and we need to call all the functions from that main method how we can do so today concept is very very easy concept yesterday we taken only single class method we declared some functions under class and we called from main method right but today class is different here we need to take father class different son class different grandson class different and uh, once again we need to take another new class with main method and we need to call all the functions from the main method how we can do today i will explain you ma go to eclipse and go to src uh, once again i will show you how to create project how to create package how to create class i am taking new project select java project click on next give the give the project name java click on finish no go to src take the new class and taking class name is father click on finish no need here we need to take different different classes so that's the reason i'm taking only one class class only i'm taking madam okay, okay. that is the concept okay yeah here i'm writing functions public void i'm taking non static public void and s y s o control space father ending Control V. Drive. Father driving go. Right. I wrote two functions. Man, let's save the script. I gave two functions to father. And come to SRC. Take the new class. Go to SRC. Take the new class. Now I am taking son class. Just click on finish. Here also I am taking only one class. Here also I am giving two functions. One is drink. So sun drinking. And smoke. Sun smoking. Okay, here also I'm writing two functions to sum. Now I'm going to SRC and take the new class, grandson class. Click on finish. Here also I'm giving two functions. One is play. Other one is study. grandson playing study grandson studying grandson studying save okay i taken different different three classes madam now i want to call them main method so how to just take another new class go to src take the new class class name is in her keep the mark public static void menu now keep the mark uh, now we need to take the main method click on finish if it is the only single class we can declare under class and we can call from main method but here is different different classes so now i want to call the father functions how we can call hmm. yes how to create object uh, we, uh, what is the class name all right shabash father if we called new father so we can create the object so f dot and f dot drive we can get to two functions next to sun 
sun is equal to new sun how many properties sun can get no not it applied sun uh, inheritance concept to is that drink is that smoke only you can get two properties you can't get n property now okay right next grandson grandson g called new grandson g dot study g dot play right this is normal class normal normal this is not inheritance concept if you want to take different different classes just we can take the different different classes and we can declare the functions and we can call from another class with main method we can call from another class main method okay we can call the all the functions from another class main method we can call the all the functions from another class main method so oh, this is the concept to normal concept now i want to apply inheritance i want to apply inheritance so go to sun sun class just write here exchange sun exchange father so sun get sun can get two more properties so here sun can get s dot n you can get s dot drive you can get right now grow to grandson grandson extends son so grandson get six properties s dot sorry g dot n we can get this is the father properties g dot drive and g dot drink g dot smoke so simply we can get the all the all the functions so we can call the all the functions so whatever you wrote that logic will come in console father running father driving son drinking son smoking father running father driving son, grandson studying grandson playing father running father driving son drinking son smoking father properties will come three times son uh, son properties will come two times so uh, grandson properties will come only one time got it ma right this is the concept to inheritance concept in a heritance so after some days every uh, every fellow nearly all the students they are doing same mistakes everyone they are taking in the single class they are all the classes they are declaring all the classes step by step in the same class they are executing the program so that program is not executing so they are doing this mistake so now you need to remember if it is number of classes just we need to declare individually and we can call from main method we can call from main method you need to remember madam nearly all the people they are doing same mistakes madam so you need to remember this concept that is the inheritance inheritance is the one of the concept provided by java which is used for extending the parent class stuff to child class we can extend the all the parent class properties to child class right next concept overloading next concept to overloading what do you mean by overloading do you know anything about overloading madam <laughs> okay madam if at all a function if at all a function more than one time in a class if at all a function more than one time in a class with different arguments different arguments like type of args comma number of args
if we write then that concept is overloading so what is the concept if at all a function more than one time in a class with different arguments or type of arguments if we write then that concept is called overloading in the same class that means here we will take only one class only if at all a function more than one time in a class i am taking one class name is some x i am writing function akil once again i am writing function akil once again i am writing function akil that concept is called overloading but we are maintaining different different arguments different arguments are number of arg uh, sorry type of arguments are number of arguments we will maintain so same function akil function i am writing number of times with the same same function name function name is all akil 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 i am writing writing akil 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 three times i am writing in the same class but i am maintaining different arguments like type of args or number of args then that concept is called overloading very very easy concept simple concept if it all a function more than one time in a class with different arguments like type of args or number of args if we write then that concept is called overloading so how we can implement overloading now we can discuss with example now go to src take the new class class name is over keep the mark public static void mean click on finish we can declare the function here so i'm taking static function public static void i'm taking function name is something login <laughs> add function take add addition okay here i'm taking two variables int a comma int b two arguments i'm taking made this is the function so function bracket required and do int r e s equal to int r e s equal to a plus b sy so control space res i am storing an var variable and here we are printing that result now same function name i am writing int a comma int b comma int c so we are maintaining three arguments so this is the example for this is the example for number of arguments this is the example for number of arguments next type of argument example here into place i am taking double double i am taking so now we can first and second is example for number of arguments example first and third is example for type of argument example meda okay yeah, same definition already i told you if at all a function more than one time in a class we are writing more than one time we are writing with different arguments different arguments means int a int b double a double b and type of arguments type of arguments is sorry number of arguments is nothing but int a int b int a int b int c two arguments three arguments type of arguments example first and three that is int data type this is double data type so if at all a function more than one time in a class with different arguments like type of args or number of args if we write then that concept is called over loading concept is finished ma now we can pass the values now into 10 comma 20 so first function will execute and next i am writing add 10 comma 20 comma 30 second function it will execute add 0.6 comma 0.2 third function it will execute save click on run 
okay this is the concept of overloading concept this is the concept of overloading concept now yesterday you asked me sir sir why we are writing void you asked but i told you madam madam if you don't want any return value that's the reason we are writing void here i don't want any return value that's the reason i'm writing void i told you right now here if you want any here also here also i am writing void why i am writing void i don't want any return value that's why i am writing void if i want return value in the place of void i will mention data type once if i mention data type it will give the return value so that is return value i will store in one variable i can print here okay this without void uh, with void we are discussed okay next without void so void why we are writing i don't want any return value that's the reason i'm writing void if i want return value in the place of void just mention the data type now i mention the data type so that means i am applying for return value so i am applying for return value so whenever i am applying for return value it is showing error why it is showing error whenever you want a return value just we need to mention return we need to mention return so it will cool now okay in the place of void i am writing data type madam into data type i am writing so it will give return value so how to store the return value i will tell you next in the second function also i am writing data type into add int a into b into c so here mention return next in the place of void here i am writing double so here we need to mention return okay now we need to that uh, result will uh, uh, that function will give return value so we need to store into one variable into x equal to into y equal to into z equal to okay oh whenever i'm writing int it is showing error why because that is the decimal values we need to mention double uh, now we can print the value s y s o control space x s y s o control space y s y s o control space z so same answer we can get here same answer we can get here 30 60 0.8 30 60 0.8 so here you need to observe one more thing madam here i am declaring data type is int if i declare int data type i can't pass the decimal value i can't pass the decimal value i can't pass the decimal value observe carefully it is showing error why it is showing error the data type is integer we need to pass only integer values if you pass decimal values automatically it will show you error okay if it is double we can pass the integer values also if it is double data type we can pass the decimal values also we can pass the decimal values also or but result should be 7.0 why because that uh, data type is decimal so it will give 7.0 that is the concept that is the concept to overloading comma void why we are writing void okay just you need to practice madam okay right next concept can i uh, can we discuss next concept yes sir no problem yes madam next concept is object class next concept is object class what is object class i will explain you object class is nothing but it is a predefined class in java object class is not want it is a free defined class in java comma it is a super class for
super class for every class we create in Java. It is a super class for every class we create in Java. And whenever whenever you are taking new object new object or function we can say object or function new object that time it will store the it will store the static information as well as yeah it is a free defined class in java and it is a super class for every class we create in java and whenever you are taking new object that time it will store the static information as well as non static information also java don't know telugu java don't know english java don't know anything java knows only logic whenever you are declaring the function if you mention static it will take it is a static whenever you are not taking any static then it will take under non static how java knows using this object class only whenever you are taking any object any function whenever you are taking the function whenever you are writing the function that time it will store the static information as well as non static information also using this object class if it is static or non static it will identify if it is static are non static it will identify that is object class object class is nothing but it is a free defined class in java no need to tell about object class to java already java knows what is object class that's the reason that's why we are saying object class is a free defined class in java and it is a super class for every class we create in java whatever you are taking any class this object class is a super class for that class super class for that class whenever you are taking any object or function that time it will store the static information as well as non static information also using this uh, object class java will identify it is ja static or non static okay got it ma'am right example small example only definition only but a small example i will tell you already we discussed it still take the new class object keep the mark public static void mean click on finish I am declaring one function here public start public static void mm, login SYSO control space login I am taking one function is login static function I am writing madam I am writing another function public void logout this is non static function logout if it is static directly I can write the that login function directly I am right here why because Java already st uh, stored the information whenever you are writing the information automatically it will store the information so whenever I am writing login simply it will sit to it will not raise any doubt to any error message so why because login is a static okay whenever I am writing logout it will show you error no 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 this is not permission there is no permission it is saying so why it is saying so it is a non static it is a non static if it is non static what we to know what we need to do object create how to create object obj class name is obj o equal 
QOBJ reference of O we can write here O dot now so this is the concept to object class so if it is static directly it will take if it is non static we need to create the reference and we can with the reference only we can write here this is the concept of object class this is the concept name is object class easy concept simple concept next concept name is last concept today last concept of string class string class it is also predefined class in java string class having some functions using these functions we can fire from different comma operations we can perform yeah we can perform different different operations on only strings string class having some functions using these functions we can perform different different operations only on strings only on strings what are the functions we have in java string class functions one is equals we can compare the two strings if it is both are same it will give true otherwise it will give false okay second one is length length function we can find out the length of this string we can find out the length of this string we can find out the length of this string one is equals second one is length one is equals function second one is length we can find out the length of the string we can find out the length of the string and the next we can find out the substring also part of the string and index of particular character index we can get here next index of replace replace all and upper to lower lower to upper upper to lower and split these are the string functions equals length substring index of replace replace all lower to upper upper to lower split okay right so now we can write the program go to src take the new class src take the new class class name is mm, class name is str now tell me any beautiful string madam tell me any beautiful string <laughs> hyderabad just some more hyderabad is a hyderabad is a my favorite place ha huh? then mm, life is beautiful how is that string s called life is beautiful Life is beautiful. And taking another string, another string. I'm taking another string. Life is beautiful. Yes, one. And taking another string. 
is to equal to now tell me SYSO control space is dot equals S1. Both are same or not? No. Why? Because here is extra space. Okay. It will consider the space also. If it is any, not only this one, if it is any upper letter, lower letter, Java is a case sensitive. So it will give false. If it is, there is no space, it will give true. Save the content. So true it is given. S Y S O control space is dot length. What is the length of the string? Mm, count it, madam. Right, Shabash. <laughs> Four to twelve characters. What is the answer? Is view. Uh, is view. Right. S by S O control space is dot index of. If it is in that string, there is no z, so it will give minus one. If it is not there, then it will give minus one, madam. Your minus one j is not there so if it is not there then it will give minus one for example i am writing life what is the answer index will start with zero what is the answer no zero it start with zero so it will take zero now i am writing l mm, l zero only i am writing total life is beautiful Right, Shabash. Save, click on run. Zero. Now I am writing is. What is answer? Is. Only is. No. <laughs> Index count start with zero. L is zero. I is one. F is two. E is three. Gap is four. E is is five. Okay. Whenever you see, first I wrote L. It is first place. It is giving zero. Next I wrote life. It is also first place. It is giving zero. Okay. And life is beautiful. I same to same. I am writing entire string. So it will give zero. Okay. Now is it is in fifth place. Start with the zero. Okay. Right. Now I'm writing uh, I. What is the answer? Only I. I am writing. No. One. It will take first letter only. Okay. Right, Right. S Y S O control space. S dot. Replace. S dot replace. Single character in the place of L, I am writing W. What is the answer, madam? Uh, wife is bit few. Wife is bit few. S Y S O control space. I am writing is dot is two dot. Replace all. Mm. Is I want to replace with very. What is the answer? Life is. 
సేవ్ త్రికాన్ రన్ వెరీ వెరీ బ్యూటిఫుల్ ఓకే ఇన్ ద ప్లేస్ ఆఫ్ వెరీ వెరీ లైఫ్ ఈజ్ వెరీ వెరీ బ్యూటిఫుల్ నెక్స్ట్ అప్పర్ టు లోయర్ ఎస్ వై ఎస్ ఓ కంట్రోల్ స్పేస్ ఎస్ డాట్ టు అప్పర్ కేస్ సో ఇట్ విల్ చేంజ్ టు అప్పర్ కేస్ ఎస్ వై ఎస్ ఓ కంట్రోల్ స్పేస్ ఎస్ టు డాట్ టు లోయర్ హలో సేవ్ క్లిక్ ఆన్ రన్ లైఫ్ ఈజ్ వెరీ బ్యూటిఫుల్ ఓకే దట్ ఈస్ ద దట్ ఈస్ ద కాన్సెప్ట్ సింగ్ క్లాస్ టుడే వీ డిస్కస్ టు ఇన్హెరిటన్స్ ఫస్ట్ కాన్సెప్ట్ ఇన్హెరిటన్స్ సెకండ్ కాన్సెప్ట్ ఓవర్ లోడింగ్ థర్డ్ కాన్సెప్ట్ వాయిడ్ ఫోర్త్ కాన్సెప్ట్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ క్లాస్ ఫిఫ్త్ కాన్సెప్ట్ సింగ్ క్లాస్ విత్ ఇన్ షార్ట్ పీరియడ్ వీ కంప్లీటెడ్ దీస్ ఫైవ్ కాన్సెప్ట్స్ ఓకే జస్ట్ జస్ట్ యూ సంథింగ్ యూ నో సంథింగ్ బెటర్ దాన్ అదర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ దర్ ద రీజన్ వీ కంప్లీటెడ్ ఫైవ్ కాన్సెప్ట్స్ ఎట్ విత్ ఇన్ ఫార్టీ ఫైవ్ మినిట్స్ ఐ థింక్ ఫార్టీ మినిట్స్ ఓకే దట్ ఈస్ ద కాన్సెప్ట్ మేడం జస్ట్ యూ నీట్ టు ప్రాక్టీస్ ఐ కెన్ కంప్లీట్ జావా విత్ ఇన్ వన్ అవర్ మేడం సో దట్స్ ఐ కెన్ డూ ఇట్ బట్ యూ నీట్ టు డూ ప్రాక్టీస్ దట్ ఈస్ వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఓకే just practice it madam the, uh, i will send you this recorded file and uh, tomorrow what time madam class same time to uh, 130 okay madam okay madam i will send you this recorded file first of all and i will send you this notes also just you need to practice madam practice practice practice